What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Crossing Void. In today's video, we have a brand new set of banners in the game starring main Shanna as well as support Yukina. And supposedly these two characters combine to create like this, this, this dream team combo of damage. But I haven't personally been able to test that out for myself, mostly because in a game like Crossing Void, you just don't have resources like that to just be willy nilly leveling up characters just to make a YouTube video. So I gotta rely on what I I read on Reddit and Discord, so obviously I cannot be steered wrong. So um, in this video, however, I will do a little bit of gameplay. Even though I don't have any real crystal investment in Yukina at all, I do have her leveled up um, to level 48, so we'll at least be able to see her in gameplay to kind of get a feel for her. Um, obviously, I already have Shanna leveled up. So if you are someone out there that is using this combo together and you're having really good luck with it, chime down in the comment section below. Let us know what your experiences are with these two characters combined so that is that I do have seven tickets though you know what we're gonna do just for we're gonna go ahead and we'll do that real quick see if I can get myself a yellow Shanna that would be a very very nice and then we'll jump into gameplay and we do not all right <laughs> that's all right that's fine so let's go over to challenge and this is the unique background that we all have go to challenge I think the best way to do this is to do a breaking event that way, I don't lose any stamina. And it should be pretty easy to carry through this. So we'll turn off auto. So we'll go ahead and bring Shanna and Yukina. Like I said, one star. No real star investment in her whatsoever, but I do have the levels. And I also, cheekity check this out. In my head, I had this vision that I would make YouTube videos for all of the banner characters that came out. And then I realized how short of materials I would be to make that happen. So in this video, check it out. It's gonna be a double header. You're gonna have the last banner, which is no longer available that you can't take advantage of, but I will show off the last banner character as well as the current banner characters once again here on channel FG getting the best quality content <laughs> nice and late <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump on in here all right you hit way harder than you need to be hitting that is gonna ruin it a little bit um, let's just do all right so here we are we're on Shanna here um, so mana thrust Looks like it does physical damage equal to your attack and then arcane damage. So this is like a split damage attack here. So there you go. Please don't die. You're going to ruin this video. <laughs> yeah, buff up. Do stuff like that. Nope, no more AoE. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and do this seal. Um, so this is Selty, I think her name is. Um, I've already showed off gameplay of this main guy here. So um, this is a middle seal ability. It does pretty good damage. <laughs> and a pretty good animation as well. All right. Um, but like I said, don't look at this video for like damage or anything like that. Uh, because that is definitely, I want to save a little bit of power here. I think no matter what, I'll be able to carry with Alice to at least complete this. Um, I wanted to show off this AoE dispel though. Let's save a little bit of pointage. I think we're about to lose. No! <laughs> I wanted to show off one more ability, but that's what happens when they're not powered up. Um, same, same. And then I'll just let Alice carry this. So we did AoE damage. Here is AoE Dispel, which is exactly what it says it is. Once again, physical damage as well as arcane damage across all enemies. So you can't, like, you're going to have to have both defensive buffs up here to kind of counter this. Uh, and it also removes two buffs as well. Six points. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I've never seen that animation before. I've actually not seen that animation at all. Really, you gotta have to. You gotta show off. You gotta show off here. All right. Well, down goes Shanna. So we're gonna do one more, and I'm gonna change this up just a little bit. Ay dios mío! Y'all are really trying to win this. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and answer back. Can we just one-shot this entire team with the power of Grayskull? Yes, we can. <laughs> GG. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I thought that was more damage. <laughs> I think maybe they had, like, some defense up buffs, maybe. I wasn't looking. We still should be okay. 
Should I do this right now? Now let's just do this. Just bring them down just a little bit. Can't lose, man. This person that opened up this breaking event is relying on me. <laughs> oh yeah, we're fine. Cute little AoE there. You're gonna do this one more time. Can't skip the animation. Wish I could, times three speed. Shorten animations, I see sometimes games do. They'll have like a full ultimate animation, but then they'll have like a shortened version of it as well. Feel like this game could absolutely use something like that. And then we'll go ahead and front attack here to finish this off. Shanna wants a little bit of glory in this video. Very nice, and then GG. Ah oh, man, I'm using the wrong, uh, wrong, using the wrong hue. I don't like that hue. And there you go, sorta, <laughs> sorta. Let's do one more. I do not want that saved on memory mode. Thank you, but no thank you. So let's do two things. Number one, I gotta look good. So let's go over here to character. Um, do 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 do. do. Huh. Eh, I guess we'll just keep that for now. The one that I really want. I thought there was another one. Never mind. I think I'm losing my mind. I thought there was like a Dante color, um, but I don't see it in there. Dante from Devil May Cry, that is. All right, so let's go ahead and do another level 41 here just to make sure that we can carry it properly. Gonna go on auto. Um, we're gonna give you. Maybe we'll do something like. Maybe kind of keep you alive a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. Probably still won't work. But we'll figure it out. Already way too much damage. Very nice. Really good ability right there. Heal over time. That's not the one I thought that, that she was using. All right, so here it is, attack down. So here we go, don't know how to say that, but here's the other ability I wasn't able to show off in the first video, or the first uh, section, and there we go. All right. So now, we'll just go ahead and just win this. Bunch of front damage. So powerful. And then we've all seen that before. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this again, just for giggles. <laughs> I like it. And you know what? We're gonna keep you alive, buddy. Just a little bit of a heal. Actually, I healed up his entire bar. <laughs> same, same. Good. What does this do? Um, damage dealt increases by 80%. That is no joke. <laughs> it's pretty good. Little backfire here. I've, I've showed this off before in previous videos. You have no choice but to cast that. Pretty good. Pretty good damage. I mean, I could do it now. I might as well do it. Yeah, a little bit more damage than the last time. They definitely had some type of defense buff that I wasn't paying attention to. I like this seal. Of, I, I do like the animation on this seal ability. It looks really cool. Especially that part right there. <laughs> gotta get it. Gotta look at it quick. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to do this just for giggles. I think what I'm going to do in this video to end it off. I think we're gonna hit up that uh that weapon summon. Tell me why, YouTube. Every time I go into Mirage PvP, it seems like everybody but me has a bunch of weapons. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on, YouTube? <laughs> like everyone has multiple impression weapons, and I'm like, I still only have the free one. So I'm gonna jump into that banner and see if maybe I can get lucky. A little YouTube luck here. 
why are you, why are you guys not dead here? This this is a cool little animation too. Come up here in a little towel. <laughs> This match was way too long. All right, we should be able to finish this off here. GG. Kirito support, fantastic. So there you go. In kind of a roundabout way, those are the two last banners that we just had. Did I just hit, I hope I didn't hit save memory mode. Hope not, but well, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it again. Anyway, so those are the last two banners. Um, I do like that combo there with the Celti and that other dude. That was a pretty cool combo there. Um, so let us go over into the gotcha impression weapons. I want to be like everybody else. I still haven't... Ah, freaking, I forgot to figure out what the differences was. <laughs> Were. Use some, use some proper grammar there, FG. Olive Wood Club of Hercules. So I do have a brand new uh, weapon for support units. Ah, so this is how everyone has a bunch of support weapons, because now I, I got a bunch of them now. In my last video, I summoned it. I, get, I didn't get anything. <laughs> all right, so let's see what those are all about. So character, um, one of those were support weapons. So let's just do this. Or they both were support weapons. So inspect details. What? When a target with a dispellable attack down or frail debuffs is attacked by a team carrying Murasama, the target has a 70% chance of suffering 13% more damage. You know what? I didn't get any of that. <laughs> so let me do, let me look at this again. When a target with a dispellable attack down or frail debuffs is attacked by a team carrying, the target has a 70% chance. So, all right. So if you're fighting enemies and you applied attack down to them, which Kirito can do, and I attack them, they have a 70% chance of taking 13% more damage. So this actually will work on Kirito pretty decently because he can apply his own attack downs. All right, I got it. it took me it took me a second to, to kind of understand what was going on. Um, with a target, oh, another one of these. When a target with a dispellable wound debuff is attacked by a team carrying the Olive Wood Club of Hercules, or Heracles, um, the target has a 70% chance of suffering 16% more damage. So it's kind of the same thing. Um, wound is basically mortal, well, let's not use World of Warcraft terms. Um, that's when you apply a debuff on your target, which impacts how much they can heal. Um, so if you do like a 70% wound, that means they can only get a 30% heal from the heal that they would uh, that cast on themselves. So if you put wound on the enemy, you attack them, you have a 70% chance of doing more damage. I think I understood that correctly. So. Can't really use that one at the moment, but I can use this one. When a target is attacked by a team carrying it. So whoever is carrying it. Gotcha. So hold on. No, this is this is right. But what I was saying is, you could actually put this on someone else. Well, you can, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> FG, get it together, I'm trying. So you can apply the attack down with anyone. But whoever is carrying this gets the benefit. That's what I was trying to figure out in my head there. But I got it now. So, all right. So we'll go ahead and put that on our main man over here. And then we'll start. We'll just do a, a few quick enhances, I guess. I don't know. I got a lot of this stuff laying around. But that will do it for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. I do thank you guys so much for watching. Six of that. Man, I tell you, <laughs> these percentages don't go up too fast. Um, that will do it. Actually, will that do it? Should we use our new weapon? I think we should use our new weapon. Let's go get embarrassed as we always do. We always end these videos off getting embarrassed in Mirage, so might as well. Hey, might as well do it one more time. That is not the team in question. Um, but what I'm going to do. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Um, go for this guy. He looks he looks uh pretty weak. <laughs> got to pray on the weak man. I'm trying to win. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So this is what I was talking about. I feel like if you have someone else to apply the attack down, 
That way you can really take advantage of it. Because, like, if I had another person right now with a Mur Murasama, I'd be able to really use it. Um... Yeah, I should be able to kill you before before you can take a turn. That's always the best move I find in PvP, is being able to just take someone off the board. <laughs> More so than any other game. Because one person can really decide your fate. Pretty hardcore. The, the, the attack down's already gone. The attack down's already gone. <laughs> GG! Alright, let's do one more. Two more. Might as well get our PvP knocked out for the day. Alright, hopefully we can find another team that's nice and juicy. One thing I've also learned, number one, um, lag on LD player has improved. And number two, I feel like my emulator lags more than my phone. And I, I don't know if maybe there's something with that, but I find that I can play the game on my phone all day and not have to worry about any server issues whatsoever. But as soon as I load it up on LD player, I have server issues. So. I don't know if it has something to do with LD player or how they prioritize emulators. I have no idea. But it happens too often to be a coincidence. Pretty good damage there. Yeah, I need someone else to apply the attack down. So maybe I do use that little Celti combo. And then I just have, I have it on you. I think that actually makes more sense. I'm getting thrashed here, by the way. This is not cool. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, I need someone else to apply it. Because it just, just doesn't work out. Um. Yeah. Let me see. That might have been a mistake. I think it was FG. I think it was too. Now we good. Are we? Maybe. <laughs> now we good. We good. We good. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> All right. I want to try something else then. Dang it. I can't. I can't try anything else. Because my attack down is on a character that only has literally one star. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure that out. Does she combo with anyone else, though? Man, this looks bad. I'll be right. I'll be right back. <laughs> Later. <laughs> um, do you? Yeah, I have to. It's like the closest character I have decently powered up. All right. Well, since I have this weapon, I think I'm gonna adjust my team a little bit. Um. I'm gonna keep the impression weapon on my Kirito and Alice combo, but I think I'm gonna drag in a dude. F I'm gonna I'm gonna drag in a dude on the team. I know Kirito is already on the team, but he hear me out. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab these two, and then continue with my Shanna combo. So more to come on that one, ladies and gentlemen. But like I said before, I don't really have. Uh, am I gonna do it? Uh, I'm gonna invest in it. I, I think it might be a good idea. I uh, don't do it. <laughs> Too, too late. Indecisiveness. I'm going to look around a little bit more, see where else I can find some attack downs. Because, um, I, like I said, the way it works out turn-wise, I need someone else to apply the attack down. That way, Alice can take advantage of it with, like, a front damage and just, like, massacre someone. So, I needed I needed to work a little bit differently. So, I'm going to go ahead and figure that out. Stay tuned for another video, and I'll hopefully show you that in action. Once again, my name is FG3000. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey as I bumble through and try to figure things out here live on video. I'm out. See you next time.